Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. How many of you out there have a tiny little itty bitty kitty committee at home, but at the same time, you wanna be hanging out with a Siberian Huskaroni pizza? A lot of my viewers have questions like, is it possible to have a Siberian Husky with a kitty cat? Because I heard that Siberian Huskies like to go after kitty cats a whole lot. Now, while it is true that dogs and cats have had their beef in the past, it's not impossible for a Siberian Husky and a kitty cat to hang out and live in a house together. You just have to take some proper precautions. You have to make sure you take certain steps so that both of your pets are safe in your home and you never have to worry about your Husky trying to go after your kitty cat. Now, if you guys didn't know, this right here is Rue. That's R-O-O. -O. Sometimes I like to call him Ruby Tuesdays. But today's a Wednesday, Daddy. <laughs> so we're gonna be calling you Ruby Wednesday, right? He's like, no, I do not agree with that. So a lot of people ask me, how did it come to be that you have this orange little kitty floofy ball right here that can just hang out with Siberian Husky on the right and a Siberian Huskaroni pizza on the left? First of all, let me say all of my animals are completely comfortable hanging out with each other. It just takes time and patience. Today, we're gonna be taking our first steps towards getting your cat acclimated with hanging out with your Siberian Husky. Now we know, Siberian Huskies can be crazy pepperoni pizzas, and typically kitty cats don't like that. Cats like to be more calm, more collected, more cool. They don't wanna be chased around the house a million miles per hour, and sometimes Siberian Huskies think that that's what kitty cats are all about. But today in this episode, we're gonna teach you how to teach your doggo not to mess with your pretty little kitty. So come with us, will you? on another episode of 60 Formula, where we find out how to get our Siberian Husky and our kitty cat acclimated together to be best friends. Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready? He's like, I'm ready, Freddy. All right, let's go. Up. Oh, can we get a boop nose from Hila? She's like, nope. You better do it on Mr. Britney Spears because I ain't doing it. Can I get a nose boop? Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's say you got a kitty cat at home. It's been your best friend for a while and you're thinking about bringing home a Siberian Huskaroni pizza. One of these troublesome little boofer heads. There's a lot of proper precautions that you should take going immediately into introducing a Husky and a kitty cat. So let's talk about those things right now. There's one thing that kitty cats hate more than anything in the world and that's water. But the second thing that they hate is Husky puppies. Puppies are just way too much for itty bitty little kitty cats. Kitty cats are like, dude, puppies are the worst thing in the world. Puppies will ruin a kitty cat's experience with your dog. They think they're playing when they run away. They don't understand what's going on. So if you're bringing a husky puppy home, it's best to limit how much time your husky pup and your kitty cat are hanging out with each other. So first thing you wanna do, let's talk about introductions here. When you're bringing your husky puppy home, you're gonna want to keep your cat on one side of the door and slowly let them smell each other through the crack of the door. So let's say you got a kitty cat waiting at home and you're bringing that husky puppy home today. Before you introduce the two of them, what you wanna do is you wanna put your dogs on that side of the door and close the door. Now I'm sure that you're gonna have a puppy and you're probably gonna wanna be on the other side of the door with your pup, but you wanna make sure that your kitty cat is in this room. Now your kitty cat will become interested in what's going on and more than likely your cat will come on over to the little crack by the door and your husky puppy and you should wait right on the other side of that door while your kitty cat does little, you know, paw things right here. He's gonna take his paw and put it under there and you and your dog are just gonna sit there and wait. This is how you get your kitty cat and your husky puppy acclimated for the very first time. You don't want them interacting with each other more than just sniffing each other through the crack of the door. Trust me, it's better that way. Kitty cats have a really, really good memory and they're all about first impressions. You wanna make sure that your husky puppy doesn't scare your kitty cat, but you also want them to know that there's a new member of the family in the house and that they should be aware of it. It's a good little kitty. It's a good little kitty, you good, Roo. It's a good boy. Oh, you soft. Yeah, you soft. It's a good boy. You wanna say anything to the YouTube audience, bro? Nice. 
So yeah, of course, you're not gonna be able to keep your husky puppy and your cat in a separate room from each other forever. It's only gonna last maybe an hour or so, and then eventually you're gonna have to introduce the two of them. And we suggest you have super duper adult supervision when you're doing this. More than likely, the cat is gonna be the alpha in this situation, because if your cat feels uncomfortable, they're gonna do the whole one-two punch right on your doggo. But the most important thing that you need to learn to address when you finally let your cat and your husky meet is that the cat is a part of the pack. You always want to show love to your cat in front of your husky. So when your husky's around, you wanna be like, hey, look, this is something that I love. This is something that we appreciate. It's part of the family. You can't attack it, you can't go after it. And when you give your cat love, your husky's gonna see that and be like, hey, this must be something that's part of the family. <laughs> look at Rue, he's like, that's right. I'm part of the family, bro. I'm a husky too. Now your husky puppy's gonna be really small when you bring them home, so it's unlikely that they're gonna be able to jump up on the couch. I'm not saying they won't be able to, because little husky pups are able to jump, but it's gonna be unlikely that they would be able to jump up right away on a sofa. If you let your kitty cat sit up on the sofa, this is telling your husky puppy, hey, this kitty cat has seniority over you. They are the alpha over you in this situation. And this is how Huskies understand things. So it takes a long time to get to this situation right here where you got your Husky and your kitty cat hanging out with each other. But in the beginning, you wanna make sure, and look at Rue, he's like, dude, I'm always higher than you. And that's the way it should be. The kitty cat should always be hanging out higher than your Huskaroni pizza. And we got all Gila on the floor right here. She's like, what does that mean I'm at the bottom of the barrel? You know your numero uno misses. So that's basically the number one rule you need to follow. Kitty cat stuff, all up top. Husky stuff, all at the bottom. This is gonna let your husky know, hey, I'm not as high ranked as the kitty cat in the house, so I should probably respect the cat. So now that we know all of that stuff, let's go into the kitchen and check out how the kitty cat eats in comparison to the Huskaroni pizzas. You're so pretty lady, thanks for being so patient. She's like, I guess I'm just a third wheel in this episode today, broski. All right, so welcome to the kitchen. Britney Spears is already in here. He's like, I know what's going down. There's some food in here, bro. So this is where Rue eats. He eats in this kitchen. And the reason is because these counters are really high. They're places that the dogs, not only they're not allowed to access the kitchen counters, but they can't jump up there. So Rue is safe to eat up here. Now we used to keep Rue's food in this automatic pet feeder right here, but Britney Spears can jump right up here and get into it. So we've put it in a more safe location. So Rue's food is kept right here now behind the sink. Here's his little water bowl and that's his automatic pet feeder. And this is where he comes to eat. And this is right behind the sink area. So the dogs can never ever access this. But at the same time, the dogs can see that Rue is eating way higher than them. That's what the whole point of this is. The Huskies eat on the floor. We get their bowl ready, we put it on the floor, and they eat down there. In fact, they eat in that room, far away from Rue. Rue eats up high, up on the counter, multiple times a day, and the Huskies see that. What that does is it tells the pepperoni pizzas that Rue is much higher than them in the chain of command. They're like, dude, why don't I eat up high like that? My dad eats up on a table and Rue's eating up on a counter, but we eat up on the floor. That must mean that Rue is super important. The level at which you let your animal hang out at will let your dog know, hey, that's what level that animal's at. So we really encourage you letting your cat be up high. Not only is it a safe place for them away from pepperoni pizzas, but your dogs will respect them more if you allow your cat to go to high places and not allow your dogs to access those same places. Do you guys get what I'm talking about? I know you're probably sitting here like Gila, like what does this even mean? But trust me, doggos respond to these kinds of behaviors. If you let your cat eat up high, sit and stay in higher places like the sofa and don't let your dog go to those places, they're going to begin to respect your cat and understand that it's a member of the family. Hey Ruby Tuesday, you being a good boy? You being a good boy? I know it's hard living with two huskies. I know, but you make the best of it, don't you? Just gotta let you guys know, orange kitty cats are my favorite kitty cats. They're the coolest. Good boy. It's good boy. These guys get along really, really well. Rue and Britney Spears, the thickest thieves they are. So last but not least, we wanna cover this little thing, and that's when your cat 
starts to scramble and run. Now everybody's kitty cat does this from time to time. Cats like to get really excited sometimes and they'll run from one room to the next. We know you guys know what we're talking about. This really turns on a Siberian Husky's prey drive and they go, oh boy, I think it's time to run and chase after this kitty cat. This is something that is going to happen. It's pretty common. What you need to do is discourage that behavior as much as possible. Whenever your Siberian Husky's like, ooh, I'm gonna go running after the kitty, you have to say, no, in a very firm voice. It's a good boy, I'm not mad at you. If you don't discourage this behavior, your husky will think that it's totally okay to chase after your kitty cat whenever they go a running. This is the only kind of behavior you really have to be on top of and thwart. Because even to this day, sometimes Gila will want to chase Rue when he gets in the moods where he wants to dash. And I have to be like, Gila, Miss Gila, you can't chase your bro. He's your floofy brother from another mother. And she's just like, I know, I know, I just get excited. That prey drive turns on and I'm just like, oh, broski maloski. But even though she does chase him, if I weren't home and she decided to chase him, she would never ever attack him in a violent way. Siberian Huskies very, very rarely attack members of their pack. And once your puppy gets acclimated to your kitty cat, and yes, it will take months and months, especially for your cat. Cats take a lot more time to get used to Huskies than Huskies take to get used to them. Your Husky will no longer ever deem your kitty cat a threat and will most likely never, ever, ever harm your cat. Now there are horror stories out there, people saying, I came home and my kitty cat was demolished by my husky. Well, I'd say nine times out of ten that you hear that story, the Siberian husky and the kitty cat were not acclimated, and the husky and the cat were probably not even used to each other. So you gotta take the time to supervise, make sure they make a healthy bond, a healthy relationship. Do all the tips that we suggested here in the video. Make sure your kitty cat's sitting up high with you and that the husky stayed down low so they know that your kitty cat is super important. And you should be able to introduce any kitty cat and any Siberian husky together in the entire universe. It just takes patience, friend. You just gotta take the time and the patience to get them used to each other. If you got thrown into a house with some stranger, would you immediately wanna be best friends with them? The answer is no way, Jose. But give it a little bit of time, you might become best friends and things might change. If you've got a kitty cat at home and a Siberian Husky, leave it in the comments below. What are some steps that you take to make sure that both of your furry friends remain buddies? It's a good little treat, you gonna eat it? Yeah, get it. He's like, I'm just gonna roll it off the thing so, so Gila can eat it. That's teamwork right there. Yeah, working together. We wanna to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We had a blast. If you guys had fun, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yup, you guessed it, whatever we make. Peace.